Bonjour, Frantic Ladies. Do you have a morning routine? Or would you like to know the morning routine that I do every day to feel and look great and that supercharge my day? Please stay to the end for the bonus, the most important habit that I do every day for multiple benefits. My name is Marianne Lecoeur, and as a French style consultant, I am here to help you discover your style and unleash your chic, and age with grace and style. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on that little bell in order to receive notifications when I publish a new video. Merci. The first thing I do when I wake up is I sit up in bed and I do some stretching. I stretch my arms, I stretch my neck up and down from side to side, and I stretch my spine. And then I get up and I stretch my legs and I bend down to really stretch my whole body. We need to keep in mind that when we sleep, our body is actually immobile for about eight hours. So it is very important to stretch the body first thing in the morning. Your cat or your dog stretches, stretch the spine, stretch the front legs and stretch the back legs, and then they're ready to run around. If you feel a little bit stiff as you wake up or when you get out of bed, do some stretching. Stretching also helps your flexibility and it will give you energy and wake you up even more. And let's not forget that a flexible spine is a healthy spine and it combats aging. The second thing that I do every morning and that really makes a difference to my day is some spiritual activity. So I always say in my head or aloud as I am getting ready things that I am grateful for. I already feel in a positive mindset. I see things more in a rosy way, in a positive way, and makes me feel happier. I also do EFT or tapping in the morning, and it helps me waking up, it gives me energy, and makes me feel again in a much better way, and ready to tackle the day. And I also write in my journal and write affirmations. So you may be already doing one of these, or maybe a number of them. Or you may also do some visualization, meditation. And of course, you may also practice some of this activity during your day, as feeling grateful for things that you see around you, or feeling grateful about how your day is progressing. But I think in the morning, at least one of these activities is not only important, but vital. It will really make a difference to yourself inside, but also to others and to your day. The next thing I like to do in the morning, and it's something that I really enjoy and I find it quite therapeutic, is get my bedroom ready for the evening. To me, it is very important. I like to get my space ready and welcoming, if you like. I would open a curtain and open the window to air the bedroom. And one of the main things is, of course, make the bed. And when I say make the bed, not just throw the quilt back on the bed. Make your bed. Just pull out all your, your bed sheets and your blankets and do it and really stretch it so it is nice and neat. Your pillows uh, fluffed up and the bed cover at the end nice and neat so that when you look at your bed, you just want to, to sleep and not, mm, it's not made or it's, it's in disarray. And when I think my bedroom is nice and neat, just before I close the door, I look around and if my bedroom is nice and neat, I close the door. And I feel relaxed and safe with the knowledge that when I come back in the evening, for the night, my bedroom is waiting for me. The next thing I like to do in the morning is some form of exercise. Exercise releases endorphins, make you feel Better for the day. Gives you energy again. We are pumping energy. And let's not forget that life is movement. It makes you feel ah, ready for the day ahead. So what I like to do is I walk the dogs. But for you, it could be riding your bike, riding your horse. You could go swimming. You could go dancing. You can go to the gym. Whatever is your exercise, just do that exercise. It wakes me up. It gives me energy. 
makes me ready for the day and I think is the best time for exercise, for me at least. My next activity is breakfast. I eat breakfast sitting down at the table, relaxed, and I take my time to eat. Many people talk or think about what they eat, but not many actually give any importance to about how they eat. And in France, we give as much importance or even more importance than what we eat. Having breakfast sitting down at the table with your family, for instance, sets you up for the day, starts again your relationship with your family members, and you can already start a conversation talking about the day ahead and reconnect you as a family. Do you eat sitting down at the table or do you run to the bus with the dry toast between your teeth? You can let us know in the comments below. By the way, if you want to know more about how to eat like a French woman, have a look below this video from the link to my Eat Like a French Woman program. The next thing I do is I have my shower and I get dressed for the day. For me, this is very important. I cannot deal with my day fully still in my nighty, my pyjamas and my dressing gown. Years ago, when I was living in Jersey, a friend of mine, every Monday she used to, to stay in her pyjamas and dressing gown to clean the whole house. And that used to take the best part of the day. So she used to have a shower and getting dressed after the housework. But for me, I can't do that. For me, I get ready before I do the main task of the day. What about you? And this takes us to the next part of my morning routine. I tackle the biggest task first. Imagine your day as a jar. And that jar has to be filled with sand and pebbles. So the sand is small task, pebbles large task. So imagine your jar. And imagine if you start filling it up with sand all the way to the top. Where will you put the pebbles? Well, you won't be able to put them in, will you? But if you start filling up your jar with pebbles, one pebble, two, or maybe even three, then the sand, if you start pouring sand over it, the sand will make its way through between the pebbles and all in the nooks and crannies. And then your jar will get completely full, just as your day will be completely full. And this is why I like to do the large task first. Because I know the little ones I will always have time for. And now for my bonus tip, for my morning habit that really boosts my day. Soon after waking, I drink a glass of lemon water. The lemon water gives my body a boost. It rehydrates my body after about eight hours dry. It gives my body some vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for a cold, good for the sore throat. And lemon water kickstarts my digestion. So start your day with lemon water to give your day a big boost. On screen now is a playlist of videos that will help you shake up your lifestyle. I'll see you in my next video. Au revoir.